Today I'm joined by Shirley from the Pandorica Restaurant here on Main Street in Beacon. And Pandorica Restaurant is a Doctor Who themed restaurant that has been on Main Street for over four years now. It's coming up to our fifth anniversary. Uh, July 7th will be our fifth anniversary. We opened lucky number 7714. A Doctor Who themed restaurant here in Beacon. History of why Doctor Who? Um, Doctor Who it is my history. I started with the first Doctor back in <coughs> 1963 and uh, have loved it ever since. There was a bit of a hiatus when uh, I came to the United States. And then I found the reboot in 2013. And why Beacon? Because I already had this restaurant. What was the Pandorica prior to? It was the Cup and Saucer Tea Room. It was a lovely English tea room and restaurant. We still served food. In the process of modernizing, becoming a little more contemporary, mm -hmm. I found Doctor Who and was binge watching and noticed that my bathroom door, which you have seen, mm -hmm. and, uh, had a stature and a, and a feeling very much like the TARDIS, I, just because I was watching so much at the time. So I had a friend of mine, there's a lot of artists here in Beacon, and I had a friend of mine who was an artist paint the door to look like the TARDIS. You know, he needed a lot of direction mm -hmm. because he knew nothing about Doctor Who or a TARDIS. But while he was doing it, he was telling the neighborhood what he was up to, and mm -hmm. people started to come in. And they started to tell me how much they enjoyed Doctor Who and how much they watched it with their families. And I was like shocked. Uh, you know, it was like, really? I mm -hmm. didn't think anybody really knew it but me. And uh, they said, yeah, we love it. And so I decided to do a little bit more. So has the decor grown over it's the grown. last five years? Oh, yeah, very much so. Uh, we started off just basically with the TARDIS and the mural. Okay. And uh, then we added seating and, you know, uh, fabrics and the table fabrics. And we started getting, um, we have an artist who mm -hmm. does the wonderful artwork okay. uh, on the walls that we sell. So it's constantly rotating. So we love her. And we have a prop master who makes some of our props for us. And they change, you know, seasonally. Is there a certain, you were already focused on English food to begin with, so right. was that an easy transition? Or? It was a very easy transition. I just went a little more international. I have a lot of, uh, my family is very international. Mm -hmm. So I just drew from my history of food. Figured that that would work because the doctor's been everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now we call it timeless intergalactic food. And, and really the names have just been changed to protect the, the doctor. Right. <laughs> um, we, well, no, we've come up some, with some special items specifically for um, the Doctor Who theme, like our canines, and, and, which is for, you know, the mini the porn dogs. The pierogies. <laughs> the pierog Satan's pit of pierogies, yes. definitely. <laughs> that is definitely a new one. Um, the Hooverville pulled pork, which some people don't get the reference. And then we have a Wes Laszlo, which is our Hooverville pulled pork tucked under a bed of fries with a cheesy sauce on top. So, you know, sounds, it's really good. And then we have Sally Sparrow duck salad, for those who understand the reference. And mm -hmm. the duck comes from Ledworth. Oh. Another reference uh, that wow. if it's, somebody wants to research, they can. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's a little bit of like an onion where you can definitely peel back the oh, layers. Yeah. And it's funny because I'm, I'm a fan of that era, the Tom Baker era, and I enjoy the Tenant, uh, the Eccleston run. Matt Smith's was, was good as well. Um, again, so it's just interesting peeling back the different pieces Absolutely. and seeing the different parts of the decor. Because of the timing of me opening the Pandorica and the actual name of the restaurant, the Pandorica, it is a little bit more of an homage to Eleven and Matt Smith, mm -hmm. um, but it's not because it's a preference. It's just because that was what was out at the time. And that's what was available and, and basically what was happening. The facility itself, it's Doctor Who themed. Any large celebrities or anybody that's shown up? Well, uh, we've had, uh, last year we had Caitlin Blackwood. Ah. She played Little Amelia Pond mm -hmm. and she was here. We did an event with her okay. and we did a wonderful dinner event. So it was three hours hanging out with Little Amelia. Well, <laughs> uh, on May 10th, we have John Davy. John Davy is one of the character actors that plays different monsters. He's been on since 2005, so 14 okay. years. Wow. He's played with all the doctors. Uh, he's done um, most of the uh, monsters, uh, Cybermen, Hath, 
dialect whisper man, uh, unit soldier, um, uh, so many, I can't even think. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. If you go on my page, you'll be able to see a listing of, of all the characters that he's done. Uh, ooh, Jadun. Um, wow. Yeah, we'll just keep going. The Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be here. He'll be doing a video presentation on what it's like behind the scenes okay. of Doctor Who. And it'll again, it's another one of those dinner events where you can hang out with him for three hours. And we have special um, t shirts being made at the mm -hmm. moment that he will sign. And he'll do signings and autographs and selfies and all that fun stuff all that fun know, stuff included. too surely i gotta tell you it's it's phenomenal that you've created this kind of island of pop culture right yeah. here in main street again because for myself you know finding a place like this is is almost an oasis you know so thank you so much for bringing this to beacon and to the hudson valley as well my pleasure i'm having a ball